high cost of living in the UK is troubling millions of households. And to help with the current situation, UK's second largest supermarket chain Sainsbury's has ramped up measures to offset the rising costs. The company has announced that it's set to spend £500 million between March of 2021 and March of 2023 to keep the prices in check. Sainsbury's strategy includes a price lock campaign under which it's committed to keeping the prices of over 1,800 items unchanged for at least eight weeks. The company also said that it's had to pass on some of the price rises to customers, but it's emphasized that the prices were lower than competitors. Now, despite this move, Sainsbury's is likely to face backlash during the upcoming annual general meeting scheduled for July over the staff pay guarantees. This comes as regulations have failed between businesses and share action, the coalition of 10 institutional investors which pushed for Sainsbury's to become a permanent living wage employer by July of 2023. Last month, the supermarket giant's chairman, Martin Skikluna, implored shareholders to reject Share Action's resolution regarding the benchmark, saying that the company doesn't want a third party to decide what its employees will be paid. So far this year, the retailer has completed two pay reviews amid rising inflation. The most recent one was done in April, which put all of its staff outside of London above the real living wage, which is £9.90 an hour. From May, all the staff working in London, the borough, are earning 11.05 an hour. And looking at its financial performance, for the 52 weeks to the 5th of March, Sainsbury's revenue, including fuel, reached £29.8 million, with a profit after tax of £677 million. The company has said that the performance for the current year will be marked by significant external pressures and uncertainties. Therefore, it expects its underlying profit before tax to be between 630 million and 690. Over the past one year, Sainsbury's share value has depreciated by around 13%, although the year-to-day return hasn't been particularly good either and currently stands at negative 16%. Now that you're up to speed, give us a sub and hit that bell icon to stay ahead of the game. I'm Holly Shields for Kalkine Media.